Is he going with Schecter because Schecter makes better guitars? No. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Matvey. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today, we're gonna talk about Mr. John Brown of the band Monuments has maybe, perhaps, I don't know, it's not officially left Mayones for Schecter guitars. Interesting. Now, if you wanna know my opinion on Schecter, I happen to think they make great instruments. I have here my Nick Johnston uh, signature Schecter, and I mean, it, it's it's literally the best S-type guitar out there, especially at this price. Yeah, that's the import line. It's awesome, it's amazing. I was literally picking between a Fender American strap and then that one. Playing the two, I was like, this, this is, this is, this is money. This is where it's at. So <laughs> what do I think of John Brown joining Schecter? Of course, that makes so much sense. Let's get into it. All right, I don't really have like an intro with these videos, it just kind of goes. So um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so if you're not familiar with John Brown, he is the guitar player, the main songwriter, the main dude in the band Monuments. They are a UK based, well, kind of, I mean, now they're kind of globally, like every member is like in a different part of the world, but they're, they're UK based, UK based progressive metal band. You know, they're part of the Genty thing, right? And uh, John Brown is a monster guitar player. He's one of the OGs as far as this kind of thing, you know, and he's got a monster right hand. That's kind of what he's known for. He's just got this crazy right hand. It's down, down picking. That's the thing though, down picking. He's not, he doesn't have a crazy right hand with like, you know, alternate picking, sweeping. It's the down picking. It's, 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 it's nuts. It's nuts. Honestly, when I first kind of like heard and kind of dove into it, everyone talked about it. I was kind of like, okay, like down picking. Okay, whatever. Then you get into like recording and especially aggressive music. And you're like, right, down picking everything sounds the best as far as like rhythm guitar stuff goes. Heavy, aggressive, rhythmic d chugs on the guitar. Down picking is the way to go always. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is John Brown has been playing mayonnaise guitars for a really long time. I wanna say like at least seven years. He's had a signature guitar with them. Uh, if you're not familiar with mayonnaise guitars, very boutique-y, very nice, very expensive. You know, may, maybe honestly a little too expensive for, <laughs> no, they're not too expensive. It's just like, you have guys like Aaron Marshall. You have guys like, like we'll say Tim Henson, right? Get them in here. You have guys like Nick Johnston. You have guys like, um, who the fuck? Angel Vivaldi, <laughs> whoever, modern Pliny. Well, kind of, not really, but kind of. Like you have a bunch of modern progressive metal players and if they wanted to, they can sign up and meet Misha Mansoor. Let's throw him in the mix actually. You have all these progressive metal players. They can, they can literally probably get on board with any guitar brand they choose, right? So why aren't they choosing the nice, awesome, sweet, boutique-y, mayonnaise, scurvesson type models? It's because there's no money in it. It's nice, they're very nice instruments, very boutique-y, right? But like the clientele that will buy your instruments is very, very low. Very, very low. Like like four people are gonna buy it. Realist, like, like four people. Schecter, you, you can have 400 people, 400,000 people buy them because they're gonna make the American nice custom shop line. They're gonna make the import more affordable line, which is quality stuff. And you know, that's all I really have to say about that. Like it's, it's, a, it's a business move for sure because it's like, is he going with Schecter because Schecter makes better guitars? No, he's not. That's not the move here. The move is money. The move is musicians aren't getting paid what they should for what they do. The, the, the thing here is that musicians will go on the road and tour, be away from their family, and venues are taking 10, 20% of merch cuts on top of all the other fucking nasty gremlins just stealing from the artists. 
and they have to make moves like this just to just to survive and continue being a musician. That's why this is happening. Whew. Did not mean to get that aggressive about it, but that's kind of the, that's kind of the truth. Like that's why they they do these moves. Anyway, but um, enough rambling about that. Um, I don't even know how much of that is going to be able to be get used, but we are going to react, watch the drawn brown thing. So it's just him playing a Schecter. So like I said, it's it's kind of speculative. Like, is he with Schecter? He is, but no one's saying it yet, you know? So let's uh, let's check this out. There we go. You know, this is also, let's let's make this an introduction to John Brown. Look at his right hand. When he's playing, it's all down pick. It's, it's very precise, very powerful. Everything he plays, it's just like, perfect. It's perfect. But so let's, let's also, let's also look at the guitar here. So that, that's, that's a little clip here. This is Monuments. Hopefully they don't, you know, uh, what's the word? Hopefully they don't, hopefully they don't flag this video because I'm just using a snippet of this, but let's look at this guitar. So it's very similar kind of to the mayonnaise thing. You got the, you got the heavy bevels, you got the purple with the, you know, you fade it into like the natural wood grain. What this kind of is a little bit to me is kind of like a Keith Marrow thing with just more aggressive contours around it. It's like a Keith Marrow arch top. And I think the Keith Marrow is already an arch top. This is just seems like maybe a little bit more aggressive. It's just sharp. That's the, the Keith Marrow thing is sharp. This is sharp. Come on. Yeah. There we go. That's a nice, better angle. But yeah, you see that little contour right here? Yeah. And then it goes all the way up like that. That's nice. Another brand that does this is Kiesel. That's all I'm going to say about that. Very cool. Very cool. And then let's, let's look real quick. Cause I mean, this is kind of it, like really. All right, let's check out the comments section here. Check out Brown Monuments guitar playthrough of The Chimerian, the closing track for from In Stasis. Schecter, A, eh? hold up, different guitar brand. John, please tell us this guitar will see production. The ending riff, the fuck. Yes, I've been waiting for a playthrough of this. Favorite song on the album, such a great closer. Schecter signature model. That acoustic bit is particularly brilliant. Epic, we could see John Brown's signature from Schecter. That would be fucking cool. Very, very, very positive reaction to this. Of course, of course. You know why? Because nobody could afford mayonnaise. Nobody can afford that shit. It's too fucking expensive. His fan base are my, or me, the people who can afford the Nick Johnson import models. That's why people are stoked about this. That's why this is gonna be a hit. That's why I'm stoked for him. That's why I'm happy to see him make all this money. Good for you, John Brown. I'm excited. Make your money, but also venues and other people in the music industry stop taking so much money from the bands, please. Okay, so John Brown can, if he wanted to, play very fancy, boutique -y, nice guitars as he deserves to, and also get paid for it with his music, with his talent. You know, not a bad thing that he's with Schecter. It's actually a very good thing, but it's also like, he, you know, this is obviously a, a monetary transaction, but, but Schecter make fire instruments. So it's like, it's good, it's, it's, it's good. It's all around good. Everyone seems to be stoked on this. Like, look, let's look at the comments. Absolutely love this song. Uh, I need more information about that Schecter. What guitar is that? Schecter? Yeah. I thought there'd be more comments, but that's it. Overall though, it's like, yeah, dude, people are stoked about this. Like, I'm stoked on this. I'm happy for him. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be fantastic. Yes, John Brown's signature Schecter guitar. I mean, we got the Aaron Marshall signature. We got the Nick Johnston signature. We're gonna get the John Brown signature. So I'm, I like, fuck with Schecter hardcore, dude, are you kidding me? Uh, my next seven strings probably gonna be, if Keith Marrow does this, okay? If you haven't, this is, this will be a whole other video, but like he's been playing like this gold top, gold Schecter with one pickup, one knob and everything like that. Man, if they make that a production line, I might have to grab that. But that's for another day. Um, <laughs> that's gonna do it for this video. Congratulations to John Brown if he is with Schecter. Mayonnaise are fantastic instruments. They are amazing. They are priced at what they are because of what they are. No shade, but it's like, 
you know, no one, no one can drop four thousand dollars, five thousand, six thousand, eight thousand dollars for a guitar. The fan base for monuments can't afford that. They can afford this, and it's awesome to see this. Also, people in the music industry, pay the band more, please. Thank you. My name is Georgi Matvey. If you've enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I love John Brown. I love Monuments. I'm happy to see him with Schechter. And yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys.